These thoughts inside my head If I told you how tonight could end Would it change a thing? I've been up, I've been down I've been all around Another home game uh, this time we've got Kilmarnock at home. Uh, obviously it's too early to figure out the team news, so we don't know the team news, but once we get it, we'll put it in the middle of the screen as normal. Right, last game was a disaster. Let's not have that, please. Yeah, let's not have that again. We've had um, transfer deadline day since, and we bring in McCurdy from Swindon, Fish from Man United, and some Ukrainian boy. I can't remember how you pronounce his name. We got him for League One Troy, I think it is, in France. So, we'll, uh, we'll wait and see how it goes. We don't know. I would like to see McCurdy up front. Last week, I was kind of having a wee gripe with Sean, saying, like, we've just bought in 11, 12 players, more than that now. And yet, eight of the players last season who weren't good enough have started. I think we need to start bringing in the new boys. Whether the projects or not, I don't care. They need to start playing games. We said this uh, on the way up. You need to, if you have a project, you need to experiment. Exactly. So we need to get them game time. So I'm hoping Mc uh, Kenner comes back in. I'm hoping McClellan comes in for Hanlon at the back. Um, I would have Kenner in for Doyle Hayes, and I'm happy if Melkerson goes up front now that Doyle has gone. But I think I've put McCurdy on. The get go? Yeah. No. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, honestly, if he can score goals at this point... <laughs> well, we needed a goal scorer. Yeah. We brought in a goal scorer. Well, apparently I brought in a goal scorer, so why not give him a goal? Uh, uh, so, let's get to the nitty gritty of it. What do you think the score's going to be? Oof. I think it's the head that he wants to see, because we... We're definitely going to be missing Rocky in the back, so I do feel like we will struggle in defence, likely even concede a goal. Timmy Lee wants to say 2-1, realistically wants to say with the way things have been going right now, a 1-1 draw is likely on the cards. But we'll go with the heavy version, because <laughs> everyone wants to go with the heavy version. I'm going with the heavy version, I'm quite confident today, I feel like last week was a kick in the stones for a lot of these players. Um, so, I've got the feeling it's going to be 3-1 Hibs. That's, I, I genuinely feel that it's going to be a kick in the stains last week when they see not just the performance but the reaction of the fans. I think this uh, this is the week we're going to go back to winning ways. We have to, um, especially with our current winning records. Exactly. Like one, I, what was, what was, I can't remember. The podcast said a, a start. I think it's, we've had four wins in 36. And two of them was against St Johnston, one against St Mirren and one against Ross County, I think. I can't remember. But you said Ross four, County last time. Yeah, but four wins out of 36 is just not acceptable. So I've got a feeling today we're going to get back to winning ways. So we have to. We have to. One! Finally! Good time! <laughs> um, anyway. Not that it wasn't nerve wracking though. It was. Do you know, the first 10 minutes, we were all over them, and I thought, this is this is going to be a route, and if we keep going the way we're going, then um, obviously the boy got sent off, quite rightly so. He uh, was the last man Boyle was through on goal, he had, he had to go. Uh, and then thankfully we scored from the result in free kick we knew. But uh, well, why don't we start before we get into the game? Like we've just spoke about the goal, which was a well taken goal, good goal. But um, what did you think of the team lineup when it came out? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I was a bit surprised to see that Ewan was in the middle. Yeah. 
I think that's where he might play looking at when McCurdy came on. Because I'll be honest with you, there was a few people that had really poor games. Uh, Poteus, Gaines passing was woeful today. Mm -hmm. um, Henderson just didn't look interested. He didn't look like he wanted to be out there. Um, simply because it wasn't because he missed that chance. That's not it at all. It's the fact that when you saw him moving, he never got out of first gear. He, like, he was just jogging everywhere. He just... It's almost like he didn't want to be on the park. There was so... a moment where a ball was being passed to a Kilmarnock player from the goalkeeper. The Kilmarnock player didn't even know that he was there. And yeah. he didn't... He literally could have... He, if he ran if, at full pace, he could have cut that off and then there was an attack on. But anyway, thank, I was shouting for either two, one or two changes. I thought either Tavares was going to come on for him or stick Yuan out in the left and put McCurdy in the middle. But it looks like McCurdy can play out in the left. Um, he looked a bit vibrant when he came on. Looked like he was he was up for it. Um, but overall, I don't think it was our best performance. I think we were... Um, we're definitely missing Rocky on defence. Definitely missing Rocky on defence. I think um, that's a definite. I'm sli Even though we won today, I am worried at how... Disappointing we are in front of goal. Um, you didn't get me wrong, there's some chances that it, it's either a hit or a miss. But that chance at the end for Bojan, that should have been put away. There's there's no even any defending that. I know the boy doesn't have a lot of minutes under his belt. It was straight at the but keeper. you're talking about he ran through on goal and he passed it to the goalkeeper. It wasn't that the goalkeeper had to make a save. Do you know what I mean? And he pulled one out of the bag. He passed it to the goalkeeper, which was just made it much more stressful than it needed to be. Yes, the whole game was more stressful than it needed to be. As um, soon as it went to ten men, for eighty minutes against ten men, the way we were playing in the first ten minutes, I thought we're going to run riot here, and then it just didn't. It just fizzled out. Um, I'm sick to the back teeth of Portia's trying to do these world day passes. Stick to the bloody basics. Do you know what I mean? The amount of times he lost possession because he's trying stupid little things. But anyway, we'll no we'll no bear in the bush too much. We won. Happy day, happy days. Uh we have broke the little hoodoo. I know we've got a good record against Kamarnock, but we have got a little bit, I think we spoke about it pre match, where we've only won four games at the last thirty six. Mm -hmm. So to get a win is major. Uh, we go away to Dundee next week. Uh, Dundee rock bottom of the league, not won a game. This Looking is, horrible. This is absolutely one we need to win. <clears throat> yes, our away performances have been good, so we need to keep the momentum going. I did think last week would have gave them a kick up the backside, and it seems to have done. So you think it would. What, 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 do you agree with me on this, or am I being too harsh with Henderson? Do you think Henderson should get dropped next week? Because to me, personally, I think Henderson should get dropped and McCurdy uh, either put on the left or uh, you and put on the left and McCurdy through the middle. But as far as I'm concerned, until he bucks up his ideas, I would drop Henderson altogether. But I don't know if I'm being too harsh with that, because it is the start of the season. But I just feel, I feel like he doesn't care when he's on that park. Um... Okay, so I would want McCarty on just because to get someone else and mix up the squad a bit, mm -hmm. but I do agree because I sometimes I forgot Henderson was even on the pitch until he was just I saw him jogging next to the ball. Mm -hmm. So it seemed he would sort of just come and go, but he never really exploded and done every, anything spectacular to warrant him vanishing for good portions of the game. Yeah. Um, no, I think um, I think he should. He needs to be dropped for the next game. It's just that simple. Glad Kenna Kenna came on. I'm glad he got brought back in. Um, man of the match was Joe Newell. I don't think you can really pick out anybody else. Joe Newell was quite pivotal in the middle of the park. He done well. Um, I know that uh, Joe Newell's got a lot of haters out there. Some on the podcast that I've mentioned last week. Do you know what I mean? Um, and online. I don't mind John Neal. I think he just turns up when he wants to sometimes. Do you know what I mean? I think if he played to his best ability every week, I don't have a problem with him. But he's just too hot and cold at the moment. But I do think there is a player there. 
shown today. Do you know what I mean? He was he was fighting for the ball in the middle, so yeah, all good. Just found an ant in my car. <laughs> well, not anymore. Squished. But just like a monarch. Ah! <laughs> right. But yeah, I I do agree. Joe Newell probably deserved to be man of the yeah. match because he was solid in the midfield. Got. A lot of stuck in a lot of times, and he got the goal. If mm -hmm. I remember correctly, yeah, got that goal. That it was person. it was well taken as well. The, the the shot for the free kick was blocked, and it just came back to him. And Joe Newell, well, Hibs fans will know Joe Newell doesn't like taking a shot, but he went for it, and thankfully it went in. <laughs> um, so that was good. Uh, the last thing before we finish up, Kyle Laffer is a. <laughs> <prick>. <laughs> I'll censor that out because it's obviously kids watch this. I mean, um, but he is. He came on and he was just looking to get somebody sent off. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. I hate him. I hate him. Anyway, he's the jackass of the day. Uh, not beaten, surprisingly. Yeah. He, he, be beaten tried. <laughs> he definitely tried. He beaten tried. 70 minute mark. But anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. We won't be at the Dundee United game next week. Uh, one, we don't have a babysitter for your younger brother. And just cost the fuel and everything these days is just going through the roof. So we need to be pick and choosing where we go. So we will see you back at the Hibernian home game next, which we will have Aberdeen. So that's the next home game. So we won't be here for the Dundee United game, but hopefully... We will go on and win that one. So we don't want to be the first people to lose to the ending. No, we really bloody don't. Yeah. People make a habit. We make a habit of that. <laughs> so I mean, when somebody needs a win, play Hibs. That's just the way it goes. But hopefully, we beat Dundee United next week. We're only three points away from the top three. So it's even though we're eighth, we're we're keeping the pressure. We're keeping the closeness. We didn't want to go too far in the distance. But anyway, one no hubs. And on to the next one.